So we all knew the LG G8 thing Q was going to be announced at MWC, but LG said, no, we've got one more device for you. And this time it's the V50 thing Q. You're going, wait, 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 wait. Two devices, a V50? Well, let's find out why. So let's start with the very first device that LG announced, the G8 ThinQ. It's got a very familiar design and that's not a bad thing. It gives a really nice polish and feel. And when you hold it in your hands, it feels really comfortable to hold and navigate. As you can see in the back, we've got two cameras. We've got the 60 megapixel uh, ultra wide and we've got a standard 12 F1.9 uh, and F1.5 uh, to give you some really interesting camera functionalities. Now packs in, we've got the Snapdragon 855 processor, six gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, uh, which gives you some really smooth performance of what LG has to offer. We've got a fingerprint sensor at the back, but when we spin around to the front of this device as we use it, uh, we've got that um, OLED full vision display at 6.1 inches, lovely looking display, I really like it. The wallpapers pop out and I'll get those wallpapers for you guys. Don't worry about that. Uh, it does have a notch, so it, it's there. Again, like I said, a very familiar design for a lot of people. Uh, eight megapixel camera in the front with a Z camera. Now the Z camera is a, also a TOF camera, if you will. And that allows for a couple of things. Be better facial recognition, which means at night, I can actually unlock my phone much better, which is a problem I actually do have. And also during the daytime when it's super bright, this camera will do a much better job in unlocking more secure and faster. That's the thing. But the other feature is the ability to do air gestures. The Z camera can map the hemoglobin in your blood. Yes, scans your blood. It's crazy, right? That's really ridiculous. But that allows you to unlock your device with just basically waving your hand uh, with uh, the G8 ThinQ. It's insane, can you believe that? Um, and I just think about the ability to wake up in the morning, you know, get out of bed, put on your shoes, unlock your device, and start playing music. Now, that's something that's really cool without even touching your phone. So you can do that with the G8 ThinQ. Now, the software that we tried it on was, of course, um, you know, pre production beta but it showed a lot of promise there. So I can go ahead and select different applications that I wanna use, that are presets, and then I can also increase or reduce the volume. And that's something that's nice. I wanna see that develop and move more, maybe into some games, maybe into other functionalities using this device. Now the camera on the uh, G8 think you does something that's really cool. It allows me to record a video with a bokeh background. So if you're watching this video, you can see the headphones, but they're not clear because of course I've got a bokeh effect going on with my A7, A7 III. This is a smartphone doing this, which is really cool. Combining the power of the 855 processor and what LG is doing, that's something I've got to try out. And I think a lot of people will. Now you've got a 3,500 milliamp battery in there and um, you've got a headphone jack, yes. So headphone jack with that 32-bit quad DAC, one of the, no, the best in the industry. Trust me, plug your headphones into this bad boy, you will be impressed all the way through. Now, speaking of sound, uh, boom sound, we all know that LG does that really well, but this time it emanates off the speakers, it's not a speaker grill, and it is nuts. I'm gonna say nuts again, but look, just listen. So audio on this thing is really good. Whether it's the headphone jack, whether it's coming off the display, gives you some really crisp and clean sound. And those are the things you want with a device like this that makes a lot of sense. Expandable storage by micro SD up to two terabytes, like I said, 128 gigabytes. But the second device is the V50 ThinQ. And you're going, wait, the V50 usually comes out towards the end of the year. Well, LG says, well, 5G's coming, 5G's here. We want to give you something that can be more productive. That's what the V50 is, or at least the V-Line has always been. And think about what the V-Line does in terms of productivity, you're creating video, you want to use that fast network, you want to capitalize on it, there you go. So the V50 comes in at 6.4 inches, so it's the same size as the V40. It's got that, of course, um, OLED full vision display. What I like about it, first of all, is that the size isn't larger. I've seen other 5G devices that are nice, but they're also larger, 6.7 inches, eight inches. This stays at 6.4. It's what the V-Series line has been, and I like that it hasn't ballooned up. 
a really nice slim form factor uh, that you'd expect. Triple camera at the back, so you now also have a telephoto wide and a standard camera. And then you've got you know two cameras in the front of this device as well, so you can take your wide angle selfies uh, in there. You've got a 4,000 milliamp battery to give you longer lasting battery life uh, on this thing. And of course, I think one of their first partners is Sprint. So you've got, you know, on the Sprint network, the Sprint logo also lights up, which is kind of cool when you're in a 5G environment. So that's something to take note. Um, this thing, of course, packs in all you can expect from a V series, but plus the combination of 5G. So you can do a lot with in terms of productivity. And they've got this really cool, uh, interesting um, accessory, which has a second display. So you, you basically, it's a case that has a second display for your V50, which allows you to do more things. So my buddy, you know, Juan Bagnell loves the V series. He, he vlogs with it. So I can imagine him editing his videos, which he does on the V, he did on the V40, he'll be doing on the V50. And then also using things like, you know, Adobe Rush to actually edit timelines and stuff like that which is crazy, now you have that split screen, which is good. So there are a lot of things to see here from LG. I think the V50 brings in a lot of that productivity, the use of 5G to its full extent. And then the G8 line brings some really cool features. I uh, you know that OLED display that emanates sound from the display, no speaker grills. Um, you know, of course, you still have the quad DAC. You've got the new Z camera. I can wave and unlock my phone. I can, you know, control my phone with air gestures. You know, that's, that's something that's really cool. Plus that bokeh effect of video watching Watching Jaime in bokeh is, you know, it's marvelous. I could do that with my camera. So um, I want to thank him for actually volunteering, you know, for me recording him in that bokeh effect. But you get the idea here. So there you have it, guys. If you have any questions or any comments about what LG has announced with the, the G8 Thank You and the V50 Thank You, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy entertainment.